Scottish Church College is the oldest continuously running Christian liberal arts and sciences college in India. It has been consistently highly rated a by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, an autonomous organisation that evaluates academic institutions in India. It is affiliated with the University of Calcutta for degree courses for graduates and postgraduates. It is a selective coeducational institution, known for its high academic standards. Students and alumni call themselves Caledonians in the name of the college festival, Caledonia. The founder and institutional origins The foundation The origins are traceable to the life of Alexander Duff (1806–1878), the first overseas missionary of the Church of Scotland to India. Known initially as the General Assembly's Institution, it was founded on the 13th of July 1830. Alexander Duff was born on the 25th of April 1806 in Moulin, Perthshire, located in the Scottish countryside. He attended the University of St Andrews, where, after graduation, he opted for a missionary life. Subsequently, he undertook his evangelical mission to India. In a voyage that involved two shipwrecks first on the ship Lady Holland off Dasson Island, near Cape Town, and later on the ship Moira, near the Ganges Delta and the loss of his personal library consisting of 800 volumes of which 40 survived, and college prizes, he arrived in Calcutta on 27 May 1830. Topic Ferengi Kamal Bose Supported by the Governor-General of India Lord William Bentinck, Rev. Alexander Duff opened his institution in Ferengi Kamal Bose's house, located in Upper Chippur Road, near Jorasanko. In 1836 the institution was moved to Gorachand Bizak's house at Garanhada. Mr. McFarlane, the Chief Magistrate of Calcutta, laid the foundation stone on 23 February 1837. Mr. John Gray, elected by Messrs. Byrne & Co., and superintended by Captain John Thompson of the East India Company designed the building. It is possible that he may have been inspired by the façade of the Holy House of Mercy in Macau, which reflects the influence of Portuguese Renaissance and Mannerist and colonial architecture. Traces of English Palladianism are also evident in the design of the college. The construction of the building was completed in 1839. <laughs> <laughs> Historical context In the early 1800s, under the regime of the East India Company, English education and missionary activities were initially suspect. While the East India Company supported Orientalist instruction in the vernacular languages like Persian, Arabic and Sanskrit, and helped to establish institutions like Calcutta Madrasa College, and Sanskrit College, in general, colonial administrative policy discouraged the dissemination of knowledge in their language, that is in English. The general apathy of the company towards the cause of education and improvement of natives is in many ways, the background for the agency of missionaries like Duff, inspired by the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, Reverend Alexander Duff, then a young missionary, arrived in India's colonial capital to set up an English medium institution. Though Bengalis had shown some interest in the spread of Western education from the beginning of the 19th century, both the local church and government officers were skeptical about the high caste Bengalis' response to the idea of an English medium institution. While Orientalists like James Princep were supportive of the idea of vernacular education, Duff and prominent Indians like Raja Rammohan Roy supported the use of English as a medium of instruction. His emphasis on the use of English on Indian soil was prophetic. The English language, I repeat it, is the lever which, as the instrument of conveying the entire range of knowledge, is destined to move all Hindustan. Raja Ram Mohan Roy helped Duff by organizing the venue and bringing in the first batch of students. He also assured the guardians that reading the King James's Bible did not necessarily imply religious conversion, unless that was based on inner spiritual conviction. Imbibing the tenets of the Scottish educational system that shaped his ideals, Duff was, unlike the missionaries and scholars at the Sri Rampur College, wholeheartedly committed to the cause of instruction in the English language, as that facilitated the advanced study of European religion, literature and science. 
by carefully selecting teachers, European and Indian, who brought out the best of Christian and secular understandings, and by emphasizing advanced pedagogical techniques that emphasized the Socratic method of classroom debate, inquiry, and rational thinking. Duff and his followers established an educational system, whose impact in spreading progressive values in contemporary Bengal would be profound. Although his ultimate aim was the spread of English education, Duff was aware that a foreign language could not be mastered without command of the native language. Hence in his General Assembly's institution as later in his Free Church institution, teaching and learning in the dominant vernacular Bengali language was also emphasized. Duff and his successors also underscored the necessity of sports among his students. When he introduced political economy as a subject in the curricula, his faced his church's criticism. In 1840, Duff returned to India. At the disruption of 1843, Duff sided with the Free Church. He gave up the college buildings, with all their effects and established a new institution, called the Free Church Institution. He had the support of Sir James Outram and Sir Henry Lawrence, and the encouragement of seeing a new band of converts, including several young men born of high caste. In 1844, Governor-General Viscount Hardinge opened government appointments to all who had studied in institutions similar to Duff's institution. In the same year, Duff co-founded the Calcutta Review, of which he served as editor from 1845 to 1849. In 1857, when the University of Calcutta was established, the Free Church Institution was one of its earliest affiliates, and Duff would also serve in the university's first senate. These two institutions founded by Duff, i.e., the General Assembly's institution and the Free Church Institution would be merged later to form the Scottish Church's College. After the unification of the Church of Scotland in 1929, the institution would be known as Scottish Church College, along with Raja Ram Mohan Roy, the great social reformer often called the father of modern India. Dr. Duff supported Lord Macaulay in drafting his influential minute for the introduction of English education in India. Eminent contemporary and successive missionary scholars from Scotland, notably Dr. Ogilvie, Dr. Hastie, Dr. MacDonald, Dr. Stephen, Dr. Watt, and Dr. Urquhart contributed in spreading liberal Western education. The institutions founded by Duff have been coterminous with other contemporary institutions like the Srirampur College, and the Hindu College in ushering the spirit of intellectual inquiry and a general acceptance of the ideals of the Enlightenment among Bengali Hindus, the then dominant indigenous ethno-linguistic group in the company administered Indian territories. This exchange of ideas and ideals, and adoption of progressive values that would eventually influence many social reform movements in South Asia, has been widely regarded by historians specializing in 19th century India, as the epics of the Young Bengal Movement and later, the Bengal Renaissance. Duff's contemporaries included Reverend McKay, Reverend Ewart, and Reverend Thomas Smith. Till the early 20th century the norm was to bring teachers from Scotland, and this brought forth scholars like William Spence Urquhart, Henry Stephen, H. M. Percival etc. Indian scholars were also engaged as teachers by the college authorities, and the notable faculty includes names like Surendranath Banerjee, Kalacharan Bindiopadhyay, J. N. A. N. Chandra Ghosh, Gauri Shankar Day, Adhar Chandra Mukhopadhyay, Sushil Chandra Dutta, Mohimahan Basu, Sadir Kumar Dasgupta, Nirmal Chandra Bhattacharya, Bolanath Mukhopadhyay and Kalidas Nag, all of whom had all contributed to enhancing the academic standards of the college. The college authorities played a pioneering role in promoting gender gender equality by emphasizing the significance of women's education. During much of the 19th century, the college remained the only institution of its kind in the city of Calcutta and indeed in the country to promote the cause of co-education. Female students comprise half the present role strength of the college. With the added interest of the missionaries in educational work and social welfare, the college stands as a monument to Indo-Scottish cooperation. Postage stamp On 27 September 1980, the Indian Postal Service released a commemorative stamp on the college. Song Departments and programs Topic: Undergraduate programs. Topic: <laughs> 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 Post 
Topic: <laughs> Postgraduate programs. Bachelor of Education postgraduate course for women students offered by the Department of Teacher Education. Master of Science in Botany autonomous course offered by the postgraduate section of the Department of Botany. Master of Science in Chemistry autonomous course offered by the postgraduate section of the Department of Chemistry. Topic: <laughs> Campus and Infrastructure. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Buildings. The college sits on an area of 6 acres. It operates in seven buildings and two campuses. The main campus consists of the main building, which is among others, one of the oldest masonry pieces in the city of Kolkata and an example of colonial architecture. This has been declared a heritage building by the statutory body constituted by the Government of West Bengal and the Calcutta Municipal Corporation. It includes the College Assembly Hall and the air-conditioned seminar room used by the departments for holding extension lectures and seminars. The main building houses the economics, history, political science, philosophy, zoology, botany, mathematics, English, Sanskrit and Bengali departments. A separate science annex building houses the departments of physics and chemistry. Situated in the main campus, the central library of the college is computerized. The biological science departments are in possession of a museum and a poly house. The college is encompassed by a garden and a lawn. Many medicinal plants are grown in the garden under the care of the botany department. There are rare and non-native plants in the garden as well. The Scottish Church College campus is a green campus with solar lighting. The second campus houses the Millennium Building and the Department of Teacher Education. The college auditorium, called the M.L. Baumick Auditorium, is fully air-conditioned and is located in the Millennium Building. It is named after Dr. Mani Lal Baumak, laser scientist and an alumnus of the college. The cultural activities, special programs, and students' extension activities are held here. The Millennium Building houses the departments of microbiology, computer science and business administration. The commerce classes, held in the morning batch of the college, are present in the Millennium Building. A separate building houses the Department of Teacher Education. Topic. Track and field The college playground is situated about a kilometre away from the college. It has a full-length football field and two other medium-sized football grounds. A running track surrounds the field. A two-storied permanent pavilion, Watt pavilion stands there, with separate changing rooms for boys and girls, toilets and a storeroom. The teacher in charge of physical education is provided residential accommodation in a part of the pavilion. Separate common rooms for male and female students, equipped with indoor game facilities like table tennis are available in the campus. <laughs> <laughs> Halls of residence The college has five hostels for its students, all of which are situated near the college. They have recreational common rooms with audiovisual equipment. Lady Jane Dundas Hostel for female students. Students residence for female students. Duff Hostel. Juan Hostel. Ajilvi Hostel. Topic: <laughs> College publications. The college publications are annual and consists of contributions from students and staffs. The Scottish Church College magazine is published annually with contributions from past and present staff and students. The Scottish Herald is the college newsletter and is published annually. The Journal of Humanities and Social Sciences, a refereed international academic journal with an interdisciplinary approach which publishes research articles written by both experienced and young scholars all over the world, is annually published by the college. The journal discusses issues from points of view such as liberalism, empiricism, positivism, Marxism, structuralism, psychoanalysis, postmodernism, deconstruction, feminism, subaltern studies school and postcolonialism. The advisory board consists of personalities such as Amartya Sen, Gayatri Chakravorty Spivak, Partha Chatterjee, Dipesh Chakrabarty and Amaya Kumar Bagchi. 
Songket, a short magazine, is published annually by the Scottish Church College Literary Society. It was first published in 2015. Topic: Activity clubs and extension activities. Topic: The NSS unit. The college runs the National Service Scheme program under the University of Calcutta. Activities are carried on round the year and a special camp is held once a year. The NSS unit serves as a platform to connect students from the departments and motivate them towards community service alongside their learning process. Some of the activities include tree plantation programs, voluntary blood donation camps, health and hygiene awareness programs, and anti-drug abuse campaigns. The Scottish Church College NSS unit has adopted the Dewanji Bagan slum area of the Calcutta Municipal Corporation, adjacent to the college playground, and has focused its activities in that area. The NSS unit has 100 student volunteers, one program officer, and 10 other teachers. The students of the unit are led by two student leaders, chosen every year. Every year 50 students participate in the NSS special camp. Apart from the NSS, nine faculty members of departments are associated with different NGOs in their individual capacities. Four faculty members and three library staff are involved with social work at an informal level in their neighborhood. The NSS unit organized several environment, health, hygiene-related programs in the college in collaboration with the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia and the college's Department of Teacher Education. The volunteers of the college NSS unit participated in Northeast Youth Festival, held at Arunachal Pradesh in 2012. Some of them also took part in rock climbing and adventure camp at Balasore, Odisha, India and were awarded the title of Basic Mountaineer. The college received four awards from the University of Calcutta for its activities in NSS. Professor. UN Nandi became the best program officer in 2009. Parag Chatterjee, a student of computer science and the NSS student leader 2011 to 2013, was awarded Best Volunteer by the university. The college NSS unit received the Best College award in 2013, followed by Agnamil Das, a student of zoology receiving Best Volunteer. Topic: <laughs> Activity Clubs and Societies. The Scottish Church College has clubs and societies where students join and participate in intra-college or inter-college competitions. Debating Society Literary Society Nature Study and Photography Club Budding Painters Club Western and Indian Music Club Dance and Drama Club The Scottish Church College Annual Activity Day is organized by the college authorities annually, an event in which students from all departments gather to showcase their talents. <laughs> Sports and festivals <laughs> Annual sports The college conducts a sports day every December, in the college playground. Students compete in track and field events. The intra-college football and cricket tournaments are held during these two days. The students also participate in other inter-college athletic meets and sports meets throughout the year. The students of the college are regulars at the sports events organized by government colleges. Fest. Caledonia is a four days long cultural fest. Held annually, Caledonia is one of the largest and longest running festivals in Kolkata. It serves as a great attraction for students from different colleges. Caledonia invites other colleges from all over the city to participate in events like dancing, band performance, quizzes the Chow Quiz being a major attraction and a photography competition called Shutter Bugs. Caledonia does not confine itself to the four walls of the college campus, but goes out into the open by holding few of its on-stage events in Urquhart Square, outside the college. The fest is organized by the college authorities. Students' Union 
The Students' Union is the representative organization of the students. The main body of the Students' Union is formed by election of class representatives. The office bearers are chosen by these members. The President and the General Secretary of the Students' Union are the main representatives of the students, and they are also members of the College Senatus. It organizes cultural programs like a Freshers' Welcome, Caledonia and the Annual Social. The Students' Union organizes annual blood donation camps, social service-related activities and recreational activities for the students. College ranking The college is ranked fifth amongst Kolkata's top science colleges as per India Today AC Nielsen Org Marg Survey of Colleges for 2006-07. India Today, City-wise ranking, Best Arts College 2007, rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise ranking, Best Science College 2008, rank 3 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise ranking, Best Arts College 2008, rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, Best Science College 2010, Rank 35 in India India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2010, Rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2010, Rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, Best Science College 2011, Rank 29 in India India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2011, Rank 2 in Kolkata India Today, Best Arts College 2011, Rank 43 in India India Today, Best Science College 2012, Rank 40 in India India Today, Best Arts College 2012, Rank 41 in India India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2012, Rank 6 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2012, Rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, Best Science College 2013, Rank 26 in India India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2013, Rank 8 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2013, Rank 8 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2014, Rank 7 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2015, Rank 8 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2015, Rank 7 in Kolkata India Today, Campus-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2015, Rank 4 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2016, Rank 5 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2016, Rank 7 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Science College 2017, Rank 8 in Kolkata India Today, City-wise Ranking, Best Arts College 2017, Rank 6 in Kolkata Awards <laughs> 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 The Mother Teresa International Award was conferred on the college for its outstanding achievement and contribution in the field of education. It was adjudged the best college in 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mobile app for Scottish Church College. A mobile application was launched by the Scottish Church College on the annual day, the 13th of March 2015. News and updates are notified through the application enabling students to keep up with the events and programs of the college. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Alumni Association. The Alumni Association of the college is the Scottish Church College Former Students Association. Its objective is to keep the former students in touch with each other, and maintain links with the college. The association organizes reunion meetings and social gatherings. Departments organize their reunion meetings either bi-annually or annually in the college campus. Status and initiatives Until 1953, administrative control over the college was exercised by the Foreign Mission Committee of the Church of Scotland. 
This was exercised by a local council consisting of representatives of the Church of Scotland and the United Church of Northern India. Later the Foreign Mission Committee of Church of Scotland relinquished its authority to the United Church of Northern India, and in 1970, the United Church of Northern India joined the Church of North India as a constituent body. This made the Church of North India the de facto and de jure successor to the Church of Scotland in running the administration of the college. As the college was founded on Christian Protestant and Presbyterian foundations, it derives its legal authority and status as a religious minority institution as defined by the scope of Article 30 of the Constitution of India. On 27 September 1980, the Indian Postal Service released a commemorative stamp on the college. In 2003, the college buildings and premises underwent renovation, with the financial support of the alumni and well-wishers. In 2004, the general section of the college was awarded grade A after accreditation by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. The same grade was awarded upon reaccreditation in 2014. Since 2004, the college has been a member of the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia and is a participant in that organization's Asian University Leadership Program. In 2006, the University Grants Commission India accepted the recommendations of the University of Calcutta to regard the college as college with potential for excellence. In 2011, the Scottish Government instituted a Centre of Tagore Studies in Edinburgh's Napier University, to facilitate integrated research on Rabindranath Tagore's works and philosophy. In Calcutta, this scholarly initiative with student exchange programs was extended to the college, involving the departments of English, Bengali and philosophy. The University Grants Commission sponsors the construction of the Cordo Septcentennial Jubilee Building Project of the college. The building plan has been approved by the Heritage Committee of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation for necessary approval. The construction of the new building will be started very soon. Scottish Church College celebrated its 184th Foundation Day and its first Alexander Duff Memorial Lecture on 13 July 2013. The college welcomed Dr. S. C. Jameer, the Honourable Governor of Odisha and an alumnus of the college, who delivered the first Alexander Duff Memorial Lecture. In January 2014, the NAAC re-accredited the general section of the college with grade A meaning, very good, in January. The teacher education section was reaccredited with grade B meaning good. The college was awarded the status of college with potential for excellence for a third time, valid from April 2015 to March 2020. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scottish Church College in popular culture. In fiction Satyajit Ray's fictional scientist cum investigator Professor Shanku started his career as a professor of physics at the Scottish Church College. Satyajit Ray's fictional private investigator Faluda was a student of the Scottish Church College. Samarish Majumdar's best-selling novel Kalbella, which explores Calcutta's culture, politics and society in the aftermath of the 1970s Naxalite movement, won the Sahitya Akademi Award in 1984. It featured the college as a backdrop in the storyline. Samarish Majumdar's Animesh Quartet, a series of four novels Uttaradakar, Kalbella and Kalparush, and Moshokal, revolves around the life and experiences of Animesh Mitra, an alumnus, who witnesses the tumultuous socio-political transformations in post-independence West Bengal. In cinema Kalbela, Calcutta My Love, a 2009 Bengali film directed by Gautam Goes on the events of the 1970s Naxalite movement, had scenes which were shot at the college. Igaro, The Immortal Eleven was a 2011 sports film in Bengali directed by Arun Roy, that was based on the Mohan Bagan Athletic Club's victory over the East Yorkshire Regiment in the finals of the 1911 IFA Shield. Three members of the winning team were students of the college. The film also showed the college as a background. Notable alumni Topic: 
Social reformers and religious leaders Swami Vivekananda, proponent of Advaita Vedanta in the West and founder of the Ramakrishna Mission Rev. Lal Bihari Day, theologian of the Free Church of Scotland Brahmabandha of Upadhyay, theologian and preacher of New Dispensation Brahmoism, Protestantism, and Roman Catholicism Benoyendranath Sen, theologian of New Dispensation Brahmoism Sitanath Tatwabhushan, theologian and former president of the Sadaran Brahmo Samaj Krishna Kumar Mitra, former president of the Sadaran Brahmo Samaj Paramahansa Yogananda, proponent of Kriya Yoga in the West and founder of the Self-Realization Fellowship A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, proponent of Gaudiya Vaishnavism and founder of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness Rev. Aurobindo Nath Mukherjee, first Indian to serve as the Bishop of Calcutta and as the Metropolitan Bishop of India within the Church of India, Pakistan, Burma and Ceylon Swami Gambarananda, former President of the Ramakrishna Mission Mahanananda Topic. Independence activists and politicians Subhas Chandra Bose, former president of the Indian National Congress, founder president of the All India Forward Bloc, co-founder of the Indian National Army and head of state, provisional government of Free India Bishweshwar Prasad Koirala, first democratically elected Prime Minister of Nepal Amarindranath Chatterjee, revolutionary associated with Anushilan Samiti, and Jagantar Syed Abul Mansur Habibullah, co-founder of the Bengal Provincial Krishak Sabha, and the Students' Federation of India Saraj Dutta, veteran communist leader, co-founder of the Communist Party of India Marxist and the Naxalite movement. Ambika Sharan Mazumdar, former president of the Indian National Congress Nirmal Chandra Chatterjee, former president of the All India Hindu Mahasabha Gopinath Bordoloi, prominent freedom fighter, first chief minister of Assam Prafula Chandra Sen, former chief minister of West Bengal Yangmasho Shaza, former chief minister of Manipur Brinkton Bahay Lingdo, former chief minister of Meghalaya S. C. Merrick, former chief minister of Meghalaya S. C. Jameer, former Chief Minister of Nagaland, former Governor of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa, and Governor of Odisha Rishang Kishang, former Chief Minister of Manipur George Gilbert Swell, former Deputy Speaker of the Lok Sabha and former Ambassador to Norway and Burma Barendra Narayan Chakraborty, former Governor of Haryana Banwari Lal Joshi, former Governor of Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Meghalaya and Uttarakhand Ajit Kumar Panja, former Minister of State for External Affairs Shakat Ali Khan, a framer of the Constitution of Bangladesh Jurists Sir Gorudas Banerjee, former judge at the Calcutta High Court Sudhi Ranjan Das, former Chief Justice of India Amal Kumar Sarkar, former Chief Justice of India Subhamal Chandra Roy, former judge of the Supreme Court of India Sambunath Banerjee, former judge of the Calcutta High Court Amarendra Nath Sen, former Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court, and former judge of the Supreme Court of India Samarendra Chandra Deb, former Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court Anil Kumar Sen, former Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court Anandamoy Bhattachaji, former Chief Justice of the Sikkim, Calcutta and the Bombay High Courts Ganendra Narayan Ray, former Chief Justice of the Gujarat High Court, and former Judge of the Supreme Court of India Umesh Chandra Banerjee, former Chief Justice of the Andhra Pradesh High Court and former Judge of the Supreme Court of India Mukul Gopal Mukherjee, former Chief Justice of the Rajasthan High Court Shyamal Kumar Sen, former Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court, and former Governor of West Bengal. Scholars and academic administrators Chandramukhi Basu, one of the first female graduates of the British Empire, and the first female head of an undergraduate college in South Asia as principal of Bethune College, Calcutta. 
Sir Gorudas Banerjee, first Indian Vice Chancellor of the University of Calcutta. Sir Brajendra Nath Seal, first Chancellor of Visva Bharati University, former Vice Chancellor of the University of Mysore. Sir J N A N Chandra Ghosh, formerly Director of the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, founder director of the Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur and former Vice Chancellor of the University of Calcutta. Tarak Nath Das, formerly Professor of Political Science at Columbia University Surat Chandra Roy, pioneering anthropologist, often regarded as the father of Indian ethnography, and as the first Indian anthropologist Biraja Sankar Guha, pioneering anthropologist, one of the first PhD recipients in anthropology in the world Harvard University, 1924 and founder-director of the Anthropological Survey of India Nirmal Kumar Bose, eminent anthropologist and freedom fighter Ramaprasad Chanda, anthropologist and archaeologist Hemchandra Raychaudhuri, formerly Carmichael Professor of Ancient Indian History and Culture, University of Calcutta Kalidas Nag, historian, author and parliamentarian Kaliprasana Vidyaratna, Sanskrit scholar, author and academician Tapan Raychaudhuri, ad hominem professor of Indian history and civilization and emeritus fellow, St. Anthony's College, Oxford Rabindra Kumar Das Gupta, formerly Tagore Professor of Bengali Literature, University of Delhi, and former Director of the National Library of India Asima Chatterjee, first Indian woman to earn a doctorate in science, first female recipient of the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology, and first female president of the Indian Science Congress Animesh Chakravorty, recipient of the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize for Science and Technology in Chemistry, formerly chair of the Department of Chemistry, Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur Sambunath Banerjee, Nirmal Kumar Siddhanta, Ramendra Kumar Padar, and Santosh Bhattacharya, former vice-chancellors of the University of Calcutta Nityananda Saha, former vice-chancellor of the University of Kalyani Performing arts, theatre and cinema Sasir Baduri, noted playwright Pankaj Mullik, Bollywood and Bengali cinema music director and composer Barendra Krishna Bhadra, broadcaster, playwright, and theatre director Suchitra Mitra, Rabindra Sangeet exponent Mana Day, Bollywood film music exponent Rinal Sen, internationally acclaimed art film director and cultural commentator Buddhadeb Dasgupta, noted parallel cinema director and poet Tarun Majumdar, film director Upalendu Chakrabarti, film director and thespian Mithun Chakrabarti, Bollywood action hero and social activist Shyamanan Jalan, thespian and theatre director Kashik Sen, noted theatre personality, director of Swapnasandhani Theatre Group Silajit Majumdar, singer and actor Badal Sarkar, dramatist Rudraprasad Sengupta, eminent theatre personality, director of Nandikar Theatre Group and cultural critic Partha Pratam Chowdhury, film director and playwright Manoj Mitra, dramatist Madhav Sharma, actor, comedian, theatre director Pulak Bindiopadhyay, lyricist and composer Writers, poets and journalists Don Gopal Mukherjee, socio-cultural critic and first successful Indian man of letters in the United States of America, winner of Newbery Medal 1928. Narad C. Chaudhary, polymath, historian and commentator on culture, and commander of the Order of the British Empire Satendranath Dutta, poet Sudhindranath Dutta, author and poet Ashok Kumar Sarkar, former editor of Desh Literary Magazine and editor-in-chief of the Anandabazar Patrika Lakshminath Basbarua, writer, editor and social critic Parvati Prasad Barua, literator Premendra Mitra, novelist, short story and science fiction writer, and film director Subhas Mukhopadhyay, poet Samarish Majumdar, novelist Sahanikanda Das, critic, poet and editor of Shanabarar Chithi Sanjib Chattopadhyay, journalist, author and critic 
Bani Basu, essayist, novelist, and poet Kanhalal Sethia, poet Kali Nath Roy, editor-in-chief of the Tribune magazine Farak Ahmed, poet, writer, activist of the language movement Derek O'Brien, quiz master and author Bina Sarkar Elias, founder editor and publisher of International Gallery, a global arts and ideas magazine. Mustafa Manwar, artist and media personality. Madhu Rai, playwright, novelist and short story writer. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Administrators, industrialists and organization leaders. Binay Ranjan Sen, former Director General of the Food and Agriculture Organization 1956-1967 Nitish Chandra Lahari, first Indian and Asian President of Rotary International 1962-63 Jagmohan Dalmia, former President of the Board of Control for Cricket in India and the first Indian Chairman of the International Cricket Council Mani Lal Baumak, scientist laser technology turned entrepreneur, inventor of the Eximer laser and author Diptandu Pramanik, first secretary of the Eastern India Motion Pictures Association, and secretary of the Film Federation of India 1953-54 Evelyn Nora Shulai, pioneer of the Girl Guides movement in India Samson H. Chowdhury, industrialist Topic: Sportspersons. Gorgopal Ghosh, football player for the Mohan Bagan Club and mathematician. Dharma Bhakta Mathama, bodybuilder, political activist, and anti-royalist martyr in the Kingdom of Nepal. Surya Shikhar Ganguly, chess grandmaster and national champion. Srirupa Bose, former member, India national women's cricket team. Topic. See also Scottish Church Collegiate School, the twin institution of the college, also founded by Rev. Alexander Duff. <laughs>